hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to these ev world business travel all that good stuff so we haven't had a mustang mach e video in a little while that's because it, it hasn't been really too much things um to make video on on the mustang mach yeah i really haven't been driving it all that much i drive it a little bit here and there but mostly i don't really drive it um it had a recall um let me catch y'all up i had a recall i went to get the recall done with the battery the high voltage recall everybody had that got fixed when i went to get the update they gave me the car back and the car had a um a fuse box issue the um check light came on so it was a fuse box issue so that got fixed under warranty and stuff so yeah, that's it. So it had the recall got fixed, the windshield got fixed, but we are here to pick up some tires for the Mustang Mach-E. I was driving the Mustang in the little bit of snow we had the other day, and I don't know, the little snow we had, uh, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really like how the car was handling the snow and the little bit of snow we had. And I'm and I always wanted since I bought the car, I always wanted to change the tires. I didn't re I hated the tires are so skinny. And I see so many posts about the tires being skinny, they need more traction, blah blah blah. But I guess they do that for efficiency, for more range. So it was I was driving in the rain the other day and I flat one of the tires. So I was thinking maybe this is a good opportunity to just get some new tires i always wanted to put some tires and rims on the car so you might so i might as well use this opportunity to get rims and tires for the car okay so that was long enough so i gave y'all a rundown so now we all cut up on the mustang mach e it's not here because it doesn't have tires in the front so we're getting new tires oh yeah we're getting tires and rims i don't know if i said that but yeah tires and rims so we are here in Connecticut. We are in, uh, I don't know if I should say where I'm at because it's, anyway, it's Tire Rack. TireRack.com, this is where we are right here. This is the warehouse. So we're here to pick up the tires and the rims and then we're gonna go put them on the Mustang. So stay tuned and with the, and we're gonna get through this journey together, okay. I didn't really think this through. I forgot to bring an SUV. <laughs> so here we go here we go we got the tires in the back i'm gonna tell you the brand and everything once i get to the um to the place i'm gonna put them on and everything i'm gonna catch y'all up i have it in the description also but yeah i fit three in the back seat one in the trunk so yeah so yeah i'll let you know when we get to the place Okay, so now we got the tires so now we came to pick up the car we're back at the Ford dealership um, we came to pick up the car and um, yeah we're gonna get the rims put on it today we came to drop off the wheels we're gonna get the rims put on it and everything so stay tuned uh, I'm gonna let y'all see how it looked like before a um, little bit of before and then until I could see after and everything so yeah these are the before rims as you can see like i said i got a flat tire so instead of getting new tires i just got a better some rims and um yeah these these are the rims that's gonna put on they're fairly the same size these are the ones that come what i did was i got the same size that comes on the gt version so that way it wouldn't be like off or anything so we'll see how it goes from there um, I don't know, should I show y'all how the rims look? Oh, well, yeah. I'm gonna show y'all. So these are the new rims. 19 inch. And the tire size, because I know that's gonna ask me in the, in the comment section, the tire size is 245.50.19. And yeah, these are the rims right here. I'm gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison. In my opinion, way, way better. 
I was tired of these old rims anyway. So I got these now and I got some better tires, some, what are these called? Um, G-Force. Oh no, these is PF Goodrich tires. And there's all season tires. Look at the thread. Mm. And it's wider too, so that's another thing. See that? Compared to these skinny tires, so. Yeah, we're not gonna be sliding in the snow no more. Well, we didn't really slide, but I, I didn't feel as much grip as I feel like I needed, so. Yeah, so stay tuned, man. We're gonna see how we look after. So, okay, welcome back to my channel. We just got back from the dealership. We got the tires and rims put on, no complication. Like I said, it was the same um, rim size. They recommended that it's like on the GT version, so. I got it just uh, just with wider tires so y'all gonna tell me how y'all think it looks so now i was gonna go with 20s but i decided to go with 19s just so it's just like you know i didn't really i didn't really want it to be too much a difference in drive so i just wanted to be like as regular as possible the guy told me with this size of wheel and tires is almost identical to the size that was on there with the 18s but a little bit bigger and a little bit wider tire a little fatter tire and the tire size i'm going to put in the description is 245 50 r19 so what y'all think i'm gonna try to put some before and after so y'all can see but me i like it as far as the driving, uh, I'm going to do a little bit more testing. But so far, the range is not that big of a difference. It's like 0.2 or 0.3 difference. That's what I noticed. Is, is I haven't done extensive range. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go drive an hour away. So I have an hour drive. We're going to uh, monitor it, monitor the miles and everything. And then we're going to go from there. But like I said, man, I like it, man. It makes the car look a lot better, a lot cleaner. You know, I hated the stock rims. So yeah, this is how it looks. Looks way more cleaner. So tell me what y'all think in the comment section. What, if you have a Mach E, what rims did you put on yours? Me, I like the 19s. It makes it look, it's not too much of a difference. I was gonna get the 20s, but like I said, the 20s, they was asking, they told me it was gonna take two weeks to order it. I didn't wanna wait two weeks. So I went, these I went and got them same day, which is like not really usual for for tires and rims because they're usually like, um, you always have to order them when you go to these rim shops. But the tire rack is not too far from me, the warehouse. So I went directly to the warehouse and got the rims. I didn't wanna wait, I wanted them same day. Got them put on two days. You know, I didn't want to wait a week or two weeks. So, yeah. And they didn't have even, but they didn't have the 20s either. So, the 20s that was over there was like, they didn't have black. So, I just got some 19. So, yeah. Tell me what y'all think. We're going to go do a range test. Let this car pass by. We're going to go do the range test. So, I'm going to see. And then we're going to go see like, you know. I didn't notice no difference in the driving no shaking no nothing just put on nothing else they just put it on they didn't have to do no alignment or anything the, everything is perfect the way it is and um one more thing the sensors tyra gave me these um sensors and they told me that you're gonna have to program it but when i put it on the car to check the um tire pressure light was on but after i drove on the highway it went away so maybe it just automatically um, programmed itself. Um, that, I don't know. You will have to tell me in the comment section. But yeah. That's it. Look at it. I love it. So yeah, we're going to go take it for a test drive. And then we're going to see. And we're going to get our final prediction and stuff like that. All right. Okay, so since switching the rims. Um... Driving wise, it feels a lot better. It feels a lot smoother. Um, it handled the turns better. 
the curbs better. Um, it just overall feels like a better drive. The other, um, the other tires, oh, it's like you felt everything on the road, all the bumps. These are a little bit much better. Even though they're thinner tires, I still don't understand, but you, um, you still feel less than you did before. And so, yeah, better ride quality. The only thing is that I think you lose a little bit of range because as you can see over here, it says the range 1.9. Um, well, I am doing more than the, well, yeah. So you lose a little bit of range, but it's really not that big a difference. Me, I don't really care for range because it really doesn't matter to me. I can make it to where I gotta go within the range limit. So uh, it's not really too much a big deal for me. But overall, better ride quality. I would say you lose a little bit of range, but you're not be able to notice. Um, some people average 2.9 kilowatts or three. I don't know how they do that. They must drive 60. But me, I usually average about 2.4, 2.5. That's how much I usually average about. And right now it says 1.9, but that's not what. I, that's not normal right now. But I was just doing, you know. So it's gonna have different um, ratings right now. But overall, throughout the week, that so far it's been a week since I had the rims. Um, I've been averaging about 2.5. So, yeah, so like I said, now it's up to you. you are, if you want to change it, I know a lot of people don't like the tires that come with it. Me, personally, I didn't like it, so I changed it. So, yeah, it's up to you. As far as driving, I, yeah, it drives a little bit better, smoother. It doesn't affect the blue cruise or anything. Everything works smoothly. Everything works perfectly. So, yeah, comment. Let me Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you changed it, what size you changed yours to, and all that other stuff. And stay tuned for more videos on the Mach E. Um, probably going to do a little bit more stuff to it, but not too much. But overall, just stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'm out. So, so as I'm charging my car... Um, I came to charge my car at the shopping center. Uh, I'm on my way to go, like, do the last review, and guess what? I see two, another car, exactly like mine, same color. So it's a real view of how it looked before. With those rims, after. They're pretty much the same size, a little bit smaller, but that's before, that's after. <laughs> I just want to add that in there. So I don't know, it's still averaging about the same. So like I said, you don't really lose that much range because as you can see, 2.5, that's usually what I'm averaging, 2.5 or 2.7, the max that I used to average per trip. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not, like I said, the tires are not that big of a difference, so it shouldn't affect the range that much. But it just might be a little slight change. But if you're not worried about it, then there you go. But there you see, that's how much I'm averaging, 2.5. Oh, it went up 2.7. It's going, it's going. So maybe it's not no difference at all. You know, maybe it's not really a big, it's a difference as I think. I'm just was speeding earlier probably. No, 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 I wasn't speeding. But there you see the, the miles. Three. Oh, it's even at three now. So you just gotta average uh, be like 65 
on the highway and then you're gonna get the three that they say. So it's basically no difference. So yeah, the tires better better ride smoother, not big difference in range. Actually no difference actually. And yeah, in my opinion looks better, feels better. So yeah, that's my video. Like I said, more videos to come. Stay tuned. I'm out for real this time. There they go. 19s, the tire size. I'm going to put it in the description. It's going to be 245, 50, 19. Oh, with the lights off, you can see it more clearly. And the most important thing. Yeah, them thick tires. No more skinny wheels. It's not that it's not that big, like I said. But the little skinny tires compared to these are bitter improvement. Overall makes the car looks a little nicer to me.